Hello all, welcome to part 275 of Core Java training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate converting array list to asset in order to remove duplicate elements. So let's get started. Sometimes we may have to convert array list to hash set. What may be the reason? Array list may have some duplicate elements and there is a situation where you have to remove the duplicate elements. Hash set, as you already know, won't allow the duplicate elements. If you pass this array list object reference to the constructor of the hash set and try to print the hash set, you will not get duplicate elements. You will get all the unique elements. Okay, let me show you that thing with an example. Okay, so here I'll first create an array list, guys. Okay, array list, a list is equal to new array list. Okay, from collections framework, we have array list. Now go to the mode on array list and import this from java.util package. And we have to provide a generic, guys. So let's give some generic here. So I'll give this as uh, something like string. Let's say string, string, string. I'll try to add the objects to this, uh, string objects to this array list as a generic type of string. Uh, I'll say add and I'll add my name, let's say Arun. Okay, now the semicolon a list dot add up, uh, let's say Varun. Then a list dot add of Tarun. Again, I'll add one more element, guys. That is a list dot add of Arun. Okay. Like this one more element I'll add. So here at the index zero, we have Arun. The same element or object is available at the index three also. Okay. Zero, one, two, three. At the index three, we have the same Arun. And at, at index four, index zero, we have the same Arun. Zero and three, we have the same Arun. Okay. Array list will allow because of the indexing concept, it will segregate this Arun from this Arun based on the index. Okay. This Arun is a different Arun, which is at the index zero. This Arun is a different Arun at the index three like that. Okay. If I print out, if I print this array list as it is, okay, system.order 20 Allen array list, run this code, you will see uh, the duplicated Arun will be there because the first Arun is at the index zero which is different from Arun, which is at the index three. It will treat like that. Array list is something like that. It has an indexing concept, you see. Yeah, duplicate objects can be repeated because this is at the index zero and this is stored at the index three. So it's possible. Now, what I'm going to do here is, okay, this one is array list, right? Now, what I'm going to do is, now I got a requirement where I have to remove the duplicate objects or elements from this array list. So the simple solution to follow for removing the duplicate objects from the array list or elements from the array list is to pass this array list object to the constructor of the hash set. Okay. Create an object for the hash set. Hash set H set is equal to new hash set like this. You just create an object for the hash set guys. Import this hash set from java.util package and do this hash set. And here the same type generic type string you give first of all, here also same generic type you give uh, that is string. Now, to the constructor of this hash set, you pass the array list object reference like this. Okay. A list like this. Okay. And now once you assign this array list to the hash set, now simply print out system.out.println. Just print this hash set. In the printed hash set, you will see that the duplicated object or element will be removed. Okay. Run this code. Okay. So only one time Arun will be coming. You see in the first when you are printing as an array list, there are two Aruns here, Arun at the index zero and Arun at the index uh, three, but here hash set doesn't have any index. And also the elements will be saved or stored into the hash set in a random order. You see Tarun is being stored first, Arun is stored second and Arun, but Arun is only once case, okay? The duplicate objects or elements will be removed, okay? Uh, removed by the hash set. When array list is converted to the hash set, the duplicate elements in the array list, okay, which are allowed because of the indexing concept are not allowed here, okay? and have been, has been removed. Okay. The duplicate object Arun has been removed and has, as said, only has three elements instead of four elements, which were there in the Arun, uh, in the array list. There are two objects here. Only one Arun object is there. That means duplicate objects got resolved. Okay. Removed. Okay. This is the purpose of converting the array list to the hash set case. And also there's a kind of a thing that you can also do where in the similar manner, you can convert a hash set to the array list also. Okay. There is no purpose, but if you really, uh, if there's a situation where you have to use asset as an array list in your programming, 
Okay, you can convert the hash set to the array list by passing the object reference of the hash set to the array list. That's it. Okay. So it will be converted as usual, guys. Okay. Hash set will be converted to the array list as usual, the same way array list got converted to the hash set. But here we have a purpose of converting the array list to the hash set. The purpose is to remove the duplicate elements or objects from the array list. Okay. When you convert the array list to the hash set, duplicate elements will be removed. Okay. So hope guys, uh, you understood the purpose of converting the array list to the hash set that is to remove the duplicate elements. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.